just um, actually let's just rip anyone can answer how do you feel this event and for the tenure that it's had how does it affect the scene as a whole being what it is can I go back to the party question <laughs> <laughs> it's an open mic but it's not your typical sit down quiet open mic Reduces radiation reaches this organic bag of particles you see here People playing African percussion all throughout sets, in between sets. Whether you've been touring, whether you have an album, whether it's your first poem just because you came to the last words in wine and you want to share now because you felt inspired. It's basically a home to feel safe, to be able to express what you want to express. It's poetry, it's music, comedy dancing, art, just in general. That's what I wanted with Words and Wine. Open doors, you know. The first location was the Jam House. And for anyone who doesn't know what the Jam House is, it was a house that I lived in. One day I just wanted to have a collective gathering where everyone came over, brought wine, and just got together and either read something or sang something. And that first turnout was like over 30 people. I walk in and there are 10 drummers to the right in the living room and going up the stairs, kind of cascading down the stairs, drummers, drummers, drummers. A dude on a, on a trumpet, somebody on a saxophone, a guy on a sitar, another guitarist, a bassist with an upright, and a bunch of people dancing in about this much space, like eight people stuffed in two feet by six feet, just trying to get it on. And I'm like, hey, I got beers. Everybody's like, yay, get the hell out of the way, you know? So I believe that this project, this documentary we're working on, is extremely important, not only for our event, but the community. It's because it's been a long time coming. And what we've done for the community is pretty big, especially here in Miami. You know, people come to Miami and they don't really even know that things like this exist. You know, like an underground scene, fellow community, fellow artists that, you know, sometimes don't get an outlet. And there's just history there. It needs to be recorded somehow. It needs to be documented. It needs to be out there for people to see and to have hope that, you know, that even in the biggest city, even in the most materialistic cities that you think are materialistic, that there are people that are reaching for something better. So I'm Nikki, new Bravo, <laughs> and I am the creator, founder of Words of Wine. <laughs>